everyone. My name is Matt Dunn and I'm the IPM VP for Medical Physics. And welcome to the latest IPM vlog. The first piece of news I wanted to share is that the new IPM website is live. I know moving to a new website is challenging, but this one seems to have gone rather smoothly from a user perspective at least. If you do take a look at the website, could I recommend you having a look at the Get Involved section? I would say volunteer for IPM is really rewarding. You get to broaden your network, develop your skills. The current positions are advertised on the website. There are roles for people at all levels of the organisation, so anyone can get involved. I started as a SIG member a long time ago and have held various roles since. I became the VP for Medical Physics in October 2020, just before the world changed. And that was a really interesting time to get involved. I hope to welcome our latest VP, Claire Louise Chapel from Newcastle, as VP for International at what will be our first face-to-face -face meeting of VPs since I uh, became a VP. The new tools we all use now make it much easier to get involved professionally without having to travel long distances. Um, and in my VP role, I've been working with each of the SIGs to develop regular virtual meetings in each specialism. And these will enable a professional to engage regularly about the important issues we face, share knowledge, expertise and experience. And I hope to be able to advertise the timetable of these events in the very near future and how you can get involved. However, if you do want to travel and meet people face to face, in-person events are now back. The first one will be in Manchester on the 17th of May and it will be organised by the MR SIG on the topic of uh, magnetic resonance in radiotherapy. My next meeting will be the RPA update in Birmingham on the 22nd of June and I'll be attending as a delegate and I hope to catch up with colleagues after what seems like a very long time. I certainly hope the coffee breaks will be long enough for that. That's it from me. Thanks for listening.